So you finally got a handle on this working, homeschooling, and socializing from home thing when dun dun dun, your internet goes out. Take a deep breath and I'll walk you through how to turn your phone into a mobile hotspot on both iPhone and Android so that you don't miss a beat. This is DIY in 5. Hello everyone and welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and today we are more reliant on the internet than ever. When my internet would go out before, I might call my ISP and raise hell, but now people would be taking to the streets like it's the zombie apocalypse. Need internet. Not to worry. Today we'll walk you through how to get that crucial internet connectivity to all your essential devices via your phone. So just what is a mobile hotspot? The ability to use your phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, also referred to as mobile tethering, means that you can essentially turn your bars of phone signal into a Wi-Fi signal that your other devices can access, all while your phone continues to function as per normal, albeit burning through battery like crazy, so be sure to plug in. Most cell phone plans have a hotspot feature included, but usually only up to a certain data limit. And most modern phones have the ability to become a hotspot, but as always, double check your data plan and phone specs accordingly. Not only is this useful if your home internet goes down, but it can be a lifesaver when you're out and about with no access to Wi-Fi. Not only is hotspot data most likely already included in your plan, but it's also more secure than many open Wi-Fi access points out in the wild. For my Android pals, the first time you use your hotspot, you'll want to open settings, go to network and internet, hotspot and tethering, and then tap on Wi-Fi hotspot. This menu will allow you to turn the hotspot feature on and off, give your network a name, and set up a security type with a password, as well as an auto turn off function, and perhaps even choose a 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz band. Once you have everything configured and turned on, connect away. In the future, all you'll need to do is swipe down from the top of your phone to access your quick settings drawer, and you'll see a little mobile hotspot button right there to toggle on and off with your pre-configured settings. For my iPhone friends, head on over to Settings, Personal Hotspot, or Settings, Cellular, Personal Hotspot, depending which Apple device you're on. You'll see a toggle to turn the hotspot off and on. And you can also configure a password on this screen to make sure no one else is getting in on your sweet, sweet data. iPhones offer the ability to set up family sharing as well, so that your chosen family members can join your personal hotspot automatically without entering a password. Instant Hotspot allows sharing to your other devices like an iPad or Mac on the same iCloud account without even having to enter a password. While some phone features that require Wi-Fi, like iCloud backup or photo stream, might not work while using your device as a hotspot, most of your phone should function normally. No matter what type of device you're using, your Wi-Fi hotspot is only as good as your cellular signal, so make sure to set up shop somewhere where you get the best reception. Other than that, you are good to go. If you don't have an unlimited data phone plan, keep in mind that a laptop will burn through data much faster than a phone. So you may want to prioritize emails and more simple tasks and save your 4K Netflix binge fest for another time. If you have any questions about hotspots or working on the go, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like this video, sub to this channel, and we'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.